Hello everybody, uh, just a quick video here. Uh, I wanna give a big thank you to Marcy for identifying a problem our students are having. And this is gonna be a little how-to video on how to set up your Canvas so that students have the ability to find our lectures. Uh, so Marcy in asking her students, hey, what's the biggest roadblock for you right now is we can't keep track of all the Zoom links. So here's a quick little tutorial to teach you how to do that with your Canvas setup, okay? So the first thing you're gonna need to do is schedule your Zoom meetings, and I'm sure most of you have done this, um, but for those who haven't, I will just show you a quick thing. So you're gonna go to zoom.signin, and that will take you to this sign in Zoom. Once you're here, it's really important, if you haven't done this already, it's similar if you're going through the Wild Web portal, you wanna sign in with the SSO. What that means is basically, you're gonna then utilize the University of Wyoming account. This gives you ability to have unlimited people, all that kind of stuff. So in this company donate, domain, you type in UIO and then continue. That will allow you, if you haven't signed in already, you'll have to log in with your normal UIO credentials, your username and password that you use for everything, um, but that should then take you toward your account. From that place, you are going to then schedule a meeting. Let's say your class is XFIZ. Then from here, all you're gonna do is pick the time that that class meets let's say 12.30, and that class is one hour long. It is a recurring meeting. It occurs, it recurs weekly on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. There you go. And then if you want to say, okay, what's the end date for this right here? You're going to say December 11th would be the end date for that class. There's a lot of other options in here that you're going to want to look through. Um, waiting room you probably want to have that off otherwise you're going to have to approve every single person coming in passcode you can have on or off it's not too uh, difficult the one issue with having it off is there remember there was that glitch when everybody started doing zoom where random people can enter your classroom that's not as much of a problem now but so you might want to have that passcode enabled uh, video having that on or off before you start um, I like to have it off and give the students the option to turn it on. Other instructors like to have it on and give the students the option to turn it off. That's up to you. Audio both. And then also you're going to want to have that enabled join before host. That enables them to kind of populate that room before you get there. If you haven't logged in, maybe you're coming from across campus or from a different meeting and you want to make sure that they're there waiting for you. You want to check that one. So there you go. You have now created your meeting. You can save that. Now it will bring you to, okay, here is your information about your meeting. What we're going to do from here is this is the main thing students need is that meeting ID. I'm sure most people know this. You just want to copy that invitation. Here's all the content information about that class we just created. We are going to copy that meeting invitation. Okay, copy to clipboard. We're good to go. The next step is, okay, well, so we want this easy to access for the students. We don't want them to have to search back through their email to the email we sent them at the beginning. We don't want them to go have to go into the syllabus. So we're going to make this super, super easy. So let's go to Canvas now. You're going to log into your class. Once you log into your class, you're going to go to the home screen. Okay, so this is your general home screen overall. So you can see here that my home page right now is just my course module. And if you want to look, you see, okay, choose home page. Right now it's selected with the radio button course module. We're going to want to have it as one of our pages here. But in order to do that, we have to do a couple more steps. So let's cancel that. What you're going to want to go to is the pages option right here. Don't worry if it's not visible. Pages. We are going to create a new page. Here we're going to put uh, performance and drugs, or we're, we're saying this was exercise physiology. Exercise physiology uh, Zoom link for semester. Then right here, we will just paste the information that we shared from before that we copied from the page from the zoom page now personal preference for me i don't think we need to have all the dates here i think students will kind of get get annoyed by that so i like to delete all those and what i like to have is just this weekly 
Here's the Zoom, join Zoom meeting link. There's the meeting ID. I don't think we need any of this stuff as well. And so you can get rid of that. Once you have that, you can click Save and Publish. Now we have published that. Let's go back to our pages. Now you can say, here's our exercise visuality Zoom link for semester. What we want to do is we want to make this the landing page. So as soon as a student comes into exercise physiology or whatever class it might be, this is the page that they see first before they go anywhere else. So that if they, if they know classes at 9 a.m., they log into Wild Courses, click on their link that's on their home page, and that takes them right to their class. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select that little button right there, go over to our ellipses over here, and we're going to use this as front page. You can see now it says right here, front page. Okay, one more step. Go back to your home. You can see home is still my modules, which we do not want. We want to choose home page. Now we have the option to choose pages front page because it's not grayed out like it was before. We're going to save that. And now when students will come to my class, they see here is the link right here. All they have to do if they want to enter this meeting, copy this one or go to this site right here, and that will bring them right to your Zoom, the same link that you use for every uh, class session associated with your class. If you have questions with this at all, make sure to get in contact with me. But I think if all of us across the unit choose to make our home pages the Zoom page, that way if a student just has a simple schedule with, okay, my Zoom for XFIS is this time, my Zoom for Sports Psych is this time, then they know just log into Wild Courses, it's right there. I don't have to have a separate document with all my Zoom links as well. So here's how you do it. If you have questions, once again, get in touch, and I'll be happy to kind of walk you through this if we need to. All right? Talk to you soon.